Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love bite. Cancer, let's see what's the message here for you today. And yes, these are general collective readings. Cancer may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So Cancer. Ooh, somebody is just really, really stressed out up in their head. Okay, they were oh, hoping things have not ended. Want to return or want that person to return. Mm, the lovers. Somebody is really ho hoping and wishing that things haven't ended. Uh, maybe there's no news or there's no communication. Maybe they've been waiting for a message which hasn't come. Uh, they feel... Uh, they don't know whether they can get this partnership back so maybe relying on gossip and rumors and trying to figure things out uh, i'm going to clarify these cards of course uh, cancer let's start with your dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'm going to clarify these cancer and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be okay let's take a few more cancer from another deck Cancer and that person. Cancer and that person. Okay. And just a few more cancer from a third deck as well. Cancer and that person. Cancer and that person. All right. Good to go, Cancer. Let's start the reading. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, Cancer, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. The first card here says, Cancer, I realized I can't run from you because you're deep within me. We are one and eternally connected. When I run, I'm actually running from myself when you've shown me in the mirror the reflection of what I don't like about myself and what I must heal. Why do you hide your pain from me? You know that I can see right through you. Our souls are entwined and reflect each other deeply. If you would only talk with me, I could help support your healing. And this would help heal me too. It frustrates me that I can't connect with anyone else the way I connect with you sexually. Our sexual connection is magical and no one else compares. Life hasn't been too nice to me and I took that out on you. Judgment. I'm making the decision once and for all to turn this around. I know that it's in our destiny to marry and have a family together. We are to be united in mission to serve God's plan to spread love and light in this world. Our combined gifts are important in this world. I feel like a fool for losing you. Deliver me from temptation. So embarrassed, I acted foolish and I don't know how to tell you how sorry I am. I want to welcome you into my family. You are half my soul, my soul family. I want us to have our own family together. I knew from the first time that I saw you that I would love you forever. Your smile made me fall in love with you and I knew then that I wanted to wake up to see your smile every morning. All right, Cancer, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start the reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you first as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message. Forgiveness. Okay, so maybe somebody needs to ask for forgiveness here in this uh, situation, Cancer. Right? Uh, the angels are nudging you to forgive them, forgive yourself, forgive the situation. I don't know what's going on, but uh, this situation is asking for some kind of forgiveness. Okay? Uh, maybe somebody was unable to make a choice or a decision. 
there's a lot of stress and anxiety due to that what's the eight of swords spirit who's stressed out what are they thinking eight of swords yeah they feel all the mind games that they were playing with their person that one man up ship or that pride and their ego and my way or the highway or whatever they were doing now whoever was playing those games is now feeling that they were playing a losing game because now they feel like a loser am i right eight of swords what else are you thinking okay all right they're depressed they're a little depressed because they feel that the reason now that that person is maybe you know first they were pushing that person away now they feel oh, my, what if my person is now got their barriers up and what they they are now moving on towards new love mm, they feel that that person is holding back from them now strength yeah that they, they, they are very stressed out because they feel the reason why that person is now moving on or is uh, holding back from them uh, or has turned their back on this connection is because they may just be moving towards new love and that's giving this person a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety they do want to make things right with their person but uh, they're a little confused they're a little confused because either they did something which was not right or they don't want things to backfire or something already has backfired they're not happy they could be pretending to be happy but they're not and they know that they need to do something to bring back balance and justice into the situation mm. they're a little afraid that their person is holding back from them yes they feel that their person they delayed taking some action for too long yeah they, they they always knew they always knew who their wish fulfillment was but i think they took too long to make some decision and now they want to rush back in they want to rush back in make things right but uh, they are not sure if their person is going to even hear them out because they feel their person is now holding back from them so now they don't know how to what how to make this work eight of pentacles clarified by the eight of pentacles yeah this person i think they are realizing that they never invested in the connection they never put the work into this connection and now that they want to they don't know how they don't know how because there's already been so much upheaval in this connection maybe things have started going backwards instead of going forward mm, world card in reverse for it world card they are hoping though they are stressing they are thinking they are hoping that you know there's a little window of opportunity still open what if they go and offer something stable now hopefully you know uh, i can stop this chapter from shutting down but the problem is that i guess none of you are really um, talking to each other this person has a lot of love in their heart but they have difficulty in expressing their emotions right as much as they want to say something they don't know how to maybe articulate it they don't know what to say what can i say now which is authentic enough to bring my person back yeah because they know that they've disrespected their partner in the past maybe never made a choice never gave them an offer maybe never proposed to them or made them feel unworthy and uh, now what can i say that will bring my partner back eight of cups in reverse spirit eight of cups in reverse they don't want that person moving on to have any they are they want to block that person this person is uh, they know the, they know the value of that person they've always seen that person as a shining star their wish fulfillment and now they are probably you know trying to figure out maybe in their uh, hermit mode that i my know my person is very attractive i know they they can get whoever they want uh, but they don't want that they don't want that. they want to stop that person from you know moving on or uh, they the heart of hearts this person know knows what this person is all about very attractive very beautiful can you know get whoever they want uh, they can walk into a room and attract a lot of attention now they don't know what to do how do i block that my person from moving on or choosing somebody else and how do i get them to return back to me six of pentacles in reverse six of pentacles in reverse they're not sure whether a simple apology is going to do it like in their mind they feel 
if I just go and say sorry, it's not going to work. Then I can't get my person back by just an apology, which probably won't even be accepted. Uh, they're not sure whether their person will be happy to say, yeah, yeah, you've said sorry now, we can have a partnership back again. And that's the reason this person is now seriously thinking about maybe I should just go forward with a commitment or something, something really solid, which will, you know, change my person's mind. So, page of swords in reverse. This person wants a revival of this connection so badly. This person really does want to revive this connection. They want to uh, have a second chance. They want to be given a second chance. They feel all my dreams and wishes can come true if I get a second chance with my person. So at, the t at this time, maybe they are relying because you guys probably are not talking on gossip, rumors, uh, spying on their person. Uh, seeing, uh, you know, whether uh, their person is still upset and angry with them, whether they, uh, what they, what they say about, maybe in, you know, to other friends or um, if you people have uh, common friends at work or otherwise, they're trying to find out what is my person saying about me. Uh, are they saying that, you know, this connection was very toxic? Have they released me totally? Do they see me as just a trickster? And uh, what are they saying about me? They want to know what, where their person's mindset is at and they have no other way of figuring that out uh, because their person is very guarded, right? So they don't know whether their person is still interested to have this partnership with them. So they want to know what, what their person is saying about them, uh, whether they should take that leap of faith or will they look like a fool if they just go across and say, I'm ready for commitment now. So they're trying to make up their mind. They're trying to make up their mind. What is this lover spirit overall energy for? Yes, the person is feeling very stuck, very, very stuck. No. This person, the person who never committed is feeling stuck. The other person, I'll tell you, if you want to know through gossip and rumors how the other person is feeling, the person who has walked away, they're actually heartbroken. They're heartbroken because they feel my person never made a choice. They never made a choice. They just kept me stuck, right? They never offered me anything substantial. And yes, I have cut them out. Not because I wanted to, because I'm angry with them, I'm upset with them and uh, I'm bitter and I'm, I don't trust them now. I really don't trust them anymore because they just kept me stuck without offering me anything. So the other person has moved away because they were heartbroken. And yes, if a person A feels that their person is all that and everything else, yes, they are. They can get anyone they want. This is the kind of person who can just smile at somebody and have them, you know, flawed or just walk into a room and people will say, who's that? This person can have anyone they want, but they wanted this particular person who just was not, you know, giving them commitment or long term or, you know, saying things or deciding on this connection. Now, whoever this Queen of Wands is, is yes, following their own passions at the moment. They are healing themselves from this broken heart. Uh, they, they don't trust person, the other person anymore because they see them as just, you know, somebody who's just broken their heart, made promises they never kept. Right? So, well, that's what I have for you today, Cancer. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.